over here is that he had toxic docks. Nothing has been done there. I don't, I don't know exactly how long they've been on that lot, but if they came over to do the toxic docks, they have it. Every community has their own problems. You're absolutely right. If this is what you want, we will support you, absolutely. Well, we will get the notice out to all of our community, but I'll pass it by so that we're not uh, doing anything that is disruptive, particularly to the community board or to the Sheep's Head Bay Plum Beach. And I mean this sincerely. I have a great deal of respect for your mother. And, and I'm not you. for you, I guess. No. I don't know what you're I, 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 <laughs> but Listen, I haven't been around long enough to earn the, the respect that you have. Well, the lawyer is a lawyer. I was married to one once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a lawyer, a lawyer, a lawyer, I know. Okay. George, it is my belief that I believe I gave this to Kathy Gondell, the new building codes on the waterfronts. It's my belief, and it has always been my belief, that there is going to be nothing but condominiums on the creek. Both sides. And I have discussed this with Terry, and every time that something comes up that's going to come on that creek that has anything that has the word condo in it, our answer is no. I truly believe that all of Sheepshead Bay and Garrison Beach, they want to look like Miami Beach. And that's the way it's going to go. And that's why I came here tonight. Because it is a politician's dream, and that includes this one that's going to run, to separate communities and divide them up. Because if we separate and if we fight against each other, what gets accomplished is exactly what we, they want. And we share a creek. And Sheep said they goes up to Avenue X. And we will not tolerate any kind of condominiums on the waterfront ever again. All right, so let us try to sum up. Uh, <coughs> Captain, you have? Yeah, I just have two words to say. Above you? Just referring back to attacking the five minutes. After that meeting, I wrote a letter to the Sheep said they Columbia Civic Association. The first paragraph of that letter was apologizing for not knowing proper etiquette when someone is speaking at one of these meetings, because I've never been to one of these meetings. So I apologize. And the last paragraph in that letter was another apology. Now, I never got a response to that letter, and it was made two months ago. But I did have excerpts taken out of that letter and put into a lawsuit against me. I don't think that's so proper. I think I should have got a response from that letter. <coughs> I sent that letter in good faith. I didn't send it in any other manner. I apologize to you. I never got a response. The response was sent. So it's nothing personal either. That's it. All right. We, uh, we're sorry for any of our members who, you know, might you came in unaware of what this was about. <coughs> oh, it's better than Wednesday Night TV. But it's, uh, it sure is. <laughs> Word of mouth. You can get it out when you talk to your neighbors, you talk to the people.